Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel all about VLSI. From this video, we are going to start with the wedlock coding for bridge. So let's now let's declare our So these are the outputs and inputs of my bridge module. Now let us declare some internal registers. So these are the internal registers which I am going to use and within an always begin in block let's write the logic for so valid so if h select apb is 1 and h trans is to take binary one zero or h trans is to take binary one one then valid is equal to one else valid is equal to zero and if h reset n is equal to 0 then present underscore state will be equal to idle else present underscore state will be equal to next underscore state and in this always block 
now let me declare some parameters here parameter idle which is equal to 3 tick binary 0, 0, 001 and parameter read which is equal to 3 tick binary 0, 0, 001 and this is 0, 0, 0 parameter w weight which is equal to 3 tick binary 0, 1, 0 parameter right which is equal to 3 tick binary 0, 1, 1 parameter right underscore p which is equal to 3 tick binary 1, double, 0 parameter w enable which is equal to 3 tick binary 110 and parameter r enable which is equal to 3 tick binary 111 so these are the sum of my parameters and if reset is equal to 0 then present state is equal to idle else present state is equal to next underscore state now let's write the next state logic if it is an idle state if it is an idle state then p select will be equal to 0 and p enable will be equal to 0 and h ready will be equal to 1 in the idle state and if valid is equal to 0 then next underscore state will be equal to idle only else if valid is equal to 1 and h right is equal to 0 then next underscore state will be equal to read else if valid is equal to 1 and h right is equal to 1 then next underscore state will be equal to w weight ending this state and coming to read state begin this so in read state p select will be equal to 1 and p address will be assigned to h address h address will be given to p address and p write will be equal to 0 and p enable will be equal to 0 and h ready will be equal to 0 initially in the read state and after read state we should go directly into our enable state so in the read state p select will be equal to 1 and p address will be and h address is assigned to p address and p write is 0 since it is a read operation and p enable is 0 in the read state and h ready is also 0 and next state is directly r enable now let's write for r enable state so in r enable begin this 
so in r enable p enable signal will be given one and hr data will be hr data will be assigned to pr data h ready will be equal to one and if valid is equal to one is equal to one and h right is equal to zero then next underscore state is equal to read state else if valid is equal to one and h right is equal to one then next underscore state will be equal to w weight and if valid is equal to zero then next underscore state is idle so here valid is will be equal to one only if a peripheral is selected that is h select apb is equal to one and if h trans is equal to one zero or one one 